Today we're going to show a little more sheet metal functionality in the packaging industry uh, by creating a little bit different box today and we're going to create this box not from scratch but we're going to actually open it up and show a little bit of versatility with SolidWorks uh, 2D to 3D uh, type uh, versatility. So we're going to open up this part. This is a DWG part so we're going to change our files of type to DWG. I'm going to select the DWG file and tell it to open it. Uh, we get the DF, DXF DWG import box which allows us to go in and edit and view in DWG editor, create a new SOLIDWORKS drawing, uh, or import to a new part. In this case we're going to import this particular sketch or this 2D drawing into a new part. We're going to click next. As you can see here, I already have a, a, a 2D sketch or a 2D outline of this. Uh, I have, if I had more than one layer, I, that I'll be showing over here and I'd be able to turn off the layers that I needed and to leave the layers checked that I was going to need. I can also change this to a white background if I'd like. Click next. At this point, I'm going to turn this and tell it that I want to import the dimensions and I want to add the constraints. Now by doing this, uh, I'm putting all the dimensions that came with this DWG and all the constraints in there uh, as much as possible. And then I'm going to tell it to finish. Now SOLIDWORKS gives me a little bar and pulls this sketch up. Now at this point you see that I'm in normal sketch mode with SOLIDWORKS. It actually added that sketch to my first part, opened up the template for me as well. So I've got everything ready to go. And I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to start in my sheet metal right off the bat and tell it that I want to create a base flange tab. Now this is going to give me my thickness for this particular part. Now one thing about sheet metal uh, functionality is it gives us the ability to select different thicknesses using gauge tables. Well we can also do that with cardboard. So if I go in here and select use gauge table and I drop down select table you see here that I have a cardboard table listed and if I click that cardboard table under that uh, sheet metal parameters here if I drop down the thickness for these cartons you see here that I have a folding carton uh, 12 thousandths, 14 thousandths, 16 so on and forth down through uh, down into an E flute, B flute, C flute and a B C flute now these are actual thicknesses of the cardboard that you can go, you can go in and pick and you can tell it uh, what bin radius that you would like. So in this case we're going to pick the folding card in 16 and tell it that we want to uh, we're going to leave the rest of these default. This is uh, the point two here is my K factor in the uh, tears relief. So we're just going to click OK to accept it. Now we can go back in there if we wanted to make changes and edit that sheet metal functionality and say for instance we wanted to change the bin radius well from our table you see that we actually have bin radiuses of a 0 .01, 0 .02 and a 0 .05 here uh, that we can use. Uh, in this case I'm just going to pick the 0 .02 and we have the ability to override both the thickness and the radius if we need to. So I'm going to click OK to accept it. I'm also going to apply an appearance on here. Uh, as you see I've got uh, a cardboard appearance here and I've got different types of cardboard in here. Uh, white cardboard, brown paper, uh, and then this brown paper. I'm just going to drag this out to create my appearance and tell it that I want it over the whole body. So as you can see there this part is already starting to take shape with some thicknesses and with all the cutouts and actually with the uh, the cardboard look as I zoom in you can actually see the cardboard texture uh, of this part okay so we're gonna go in and we're gonna show that sketch again that we uh, that we were using to begin with and I'm gonna just kinda do this pretty quick I mean it's uh, it's pretty simple to do I'm just going to start a sketch. I'm going to select the bin lines that are already out there in that 2D uh, atmosphere. Tell it to convert those. Go into my sheet metal. Tell it to do a sketch bin. And tell it the flat face that I want this thing to, to be uh, stationary. 
And when I click OK, you see there that it automatically bent the uh, parts up and made those bends uh, like I told it to. Again, I'm going to go through, select the edges or the bend uh, lines there, convert them, go to sheet metal, sketch bend, and again tell it where we want that uh, fixed face to be, and click OK, and we get a bend up. Now this particular box has got a couple of flan flanges at the bottom that are going to fold inside of each other. So what we need to do there is we need to make a couple of jogs uh, where we can see these folding over. And I'm just going to do that really quick. We'll make a sketch there, select that uh, line, convert to entity, go to my sheet metal and do a jog. And my fixed face, of course, is going to be the main box. And you can see here that I have a preview of that jog uh, already. Uh, right now it's a 0.05 inch offset distance and it's 15 degrees. I can adjust these at any uh, level that I need them to be. In this case, we're just going to accept it at that. And you can see from the appearance that I have a jog built in there now to where I can layer this over or under another sheet of cardboard. Uh, depending on the uh, the need. So now, once again, select the face, sketch, select the line, convert, and I'm going to the sheet metal and do another jog. And again, we see the preview. I'm going to click OK with the same default settings as I made just a minute ago. I didn't have to change anything. I didn't have to go through and set those parameters all over again. It was already set for me because that was the default settings. And again, there it is one more time. And then the final one here, sketch again, invert that line, sheet metal and jog. And just like that, I've created jogs on all the pieces that I need to be jogged where they're not interfering with each other. So we have a, uh, a pretty, pretty nice uh, setup there. Now let's go ahead and fold up the rest of this box. I'm going to select these four sides here. Do the convert entities and go to sheet metal and sketch bin again. And tell it which side that I want them to be on. And we can kind of see here that this box is starting to take shape pretty rapidly. Uh, one more time sketch. I'm just going to select all of these bins this time so it just rolls it into place. Convert and do a sketch bin. And then the finished or the stationary face. And as you can see, let's go ahead and turn this off so we can see the box without the um, without the uh, sketch behind it. As you can see, these flaps are tucked in. There's a gap there uh, for them to be tucked into. Uh, if you can see here at the bottom, the, uh, the, the uh, jogs that we did are actually tucking in under the, uh, the pieces that they're supposed to be tucking under. So we're getting all of the interlocking capabilities of cardboard here with SolidWorks. And we can also go in and take a look on the inside just to see how this box is, is fitting together by simply doing a section view. So I can just drag this up and do a section view and kind of zoom in and make sure that all my components are fitting together properly and that I'm not having any kind of issues as far as uh, interferences or anything like that. So, like I said, this is a... Uh, a good showing of functionality with SolidWorks.